Today I'm going to show you how to use API's Melifix to dip soft corals. Alright, so I picked up a new frag today. I like to let it soak in the sump for about an hour, depending on how long it was sitting in the cooler for. And you guys know I always like to keep some spare uh, frag plugs because I always, 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 even if they're encrusted, always cut them off the frag plugs that they came in and put them on fresh ones that have been soaking in the sump. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you guys how I dip everything. All right, so I've always dipped all my coral in uh, multiple products, but now that I'm going with softies, um, yes, that does include zoanthids, but now that I'm going to be getting things like leathers and um, toadstools and mushrooms, I have actually just recently been told about Melifix. Now, I always thought Melifix was um, for fish, for, you know, wounds and um, infections, and you guys could see here it reverses coral degradation. Now, I thought this was pretty odd because I've never known Melifix to be a coral dip. Well, some of them show uh, pictures of freshwater fish and some of them show pictures of saltwater fish. This one, it's just, a, see how it says marine Melifix? That's the one you want to look for if you're going to be um, doing some coral dipping. Now, again, I'm only using this on soft corals. I'm not using it on LPS or SPS, just soft corals. It does have uh, instructions here on, on using it as a coral dip. It pretty much boils down to 2.5 milliliters per cup of tank water. And it does say um, to let it set for, uh, I believe it's uh, yeah, three to five minutes right here. I actually let it go for five to 10 minutes and it has been totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill this up ahead of time with the 2.5 mls because I'm only going to be using about a cup of water and since the frag is up to temp with the acclimation I'm going to put it all in here together dip it and then also mount it on new frag plugs now while I was inspecting it I did see that there's a couple pieces like this one right here that has a little stone that it's uh, stuck to so that's actually going to be one frag and then um, this whole piece is probably going to be another frag the only reason I'm doing uh, you know, splitting this into two is, for one, I actually have the option, and two, I want to put one kind of up high in the tank on one side and down low on the other side. So, let me dip this frag, and we'll see how it looks. Now, while everything's dipping, I do want to show you guys something. I do use the BRS Instaset and the Dollar Super Glue Gel. Now, I have this little tiny piece here. The only time I use the Insta set is when I'm making something or you're mounting something to a frag plug itself. You don't want to use this stuff and then try to um, put it in the tank because it will set up instantly almost. So you can see here I'm doing a little, I found a little tiny baby. This will be for a buddy. Put that little baby right there. Normally you dunk this underwater a couple times, but. Hit it with the Insta set. It is totally safe to hit the corals with it. And just like that, it's good to go. There is one other piece. I was actually able to make three good sized frags and a little itty bitty baby. Now, the reason I'm using these is because the Melifix is in there and I don't want to get my fingers covered in the stuff. So, I'm not really watching the camera, so if it's a little blurry, at times, I'm sorry. But I figured, you know what, this might be a good time to show you guys how I use the Insta Set. A little bit of glue there. Dry it up just a tad bit. Cool thing is, is with the Insta Set, is you can, especially for sticks, you know, SPS, if you want them to get them stand up straight. This is a, it's about an inch and a quarter tall. And you can see just after that how quick that was. It's set up really, really quick. Look how blue this frag is. Huh. 
I'm not going to really be able to, there we go, focus, there we go. So let it set and in the water to set. So again, I'm using the BRS Insta Set. This is only for when I'm mounting coral to frag plugs. Otherwise, I use this for both mounting to frag plugs and mounting to the rocks. So there we go. Let these guys sit. All right, so then what I do is, is I take my second container and get some tank water out there. So this way, it's nice, fresh, warm water. I don't mix up fresh water because I want them to be used to the parameters that they're going in. As you can see here, I just give them a little bit of water and I will roll them around in here for a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll take this, wash this out, put some more tank water in it, take these, go back into there, and then from there they go into the tank. All right, so here they are after, I don't know, 30 seconds of being in the tank. Look at the color on them things. Super bright blue. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Check out what I found. Look at them things. One more last look. We'll look at them. Oh, we'll look at them at the next update. But I do want to show you guys something. Take the filter off. I did find it's going to be very, very hard to see. See that little dot right there? Let me see if I can zoom in. You'll never guess what it killed. So the API Melifix, this is a little tiny baby Aptasia. And it fell right off the rock. I'm not sure if that was by pure luck or if Melifix kills Aptasia like that, but it killed this one. So that's it for now, everybody. Stay tuned for uh, an update on how these are doing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.